Well, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Therapeutic Edge. I've got something that makes me really happy on the table in front of us today. So I'm a big Damn Designs fan. You know that. Um, I've had a lot of the Damn Designs stuff going back to uh, 2019 Blade Show West. And uh, here's just a little of it. Uh, these are what we're talking about today. These are the Yokai and Basilisk fixed blades, but let's start here. So this is the Yokai. Uh, this is the second generation Yokai, and this of course is the first generation Basilisk. Uh, I love these knives. And these are how I met Adrian, and he's, his progression has been really interesting, right? It, it's They've gotten better, and he's just really put himself into it, and I really enjoy them. So not that long ago, he said, well, what if I made fixed blades? And we were like, well, that would be cool. He's like, what should we do? And the sort of consensus was that either the yokai or the uh, basilisk blade shape would make a really good fixed blade. Well, Adrian is not, he's nothing if not willing to go all in on something. And so recently he dropped these. <laughs> They're fantastic. So the yokai, of course, is the tanto, and that's what you've got here. The basilisk is the drop point. These are, in, they're very big. They're comfortable, but I mean, they're really big blades. Um, they're 14C, 28N, they're full tang construction. They've got a lanyard space, uh, really high grind, so they come down to a really nice, fine edge. They're 75 bucks. <laughs> I mean, in a world full of two and three and four hundred dollar fixed blades, these are supremely competitive. They come with really nice Kydex sheets, right? With the clip. I mean, check this out. The retention on this is really good, right? No rattle, no wiggle, no nothing. I love stuff like this. I really do. So, as you can see, right, there's the progenitors of these particular blades. And I just love that he's followed through. He's kept the design aesthetic consistent, but he's made some very useful and sort of beefy fixed blades. I just think it's really cool. So let's get some specs out of the way, shall we? Uh, they're pretty consistent, so we're going to go ahead and use the... Yokai for most of this, and we'll come back to the basilisk. You get one, two, three, four inches of cutting on, well, depending on where you measure it, but basically four inches of 14C 28 and the grip area from behind that forward, really generous forward choil, you get one, two, three, four and a quarter inches until you get to that spot. I mean, there's lots of room. These are well done. Uh, you got a little bit of jimping on this upsweep right here to kind of plant your thumb. And because I'm a Tanto fan, this thing is a box-destroying machine because of this forward edge. Right? It's perfect for draw cuts. However, if your needs are a little more camp kitchen-y, then the Basilisk is probably more your speed. Um, the way this thing is designed, you get plenty of knife down on the table without your knuckles banging into stuff. He's kept the handle design right in line with the folders, right? Just a little more, you get a lot more blade, which I think is very cool. I love this knife. This is also 14C and really well done. These are available on his website now. I'll post a link in the description. Uh, if you guys are looking for a reliable, comfortable, interesting, relatively weatherproof because it's 14C, uh, fixed blade, these are a really great option. And coming in at 75 bucks, I mean, come on. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my more expensive fixed blades. I do. But for a straight user with a ton of style, I think he's killed it. I really do. Um, they have his traditional pivot uh, as to hold the, uh, the scales on. So they really do stay consistent, which I think is really nicely done. Um, of course, they're not interchangeable or anything, but because of the way this is designed with a single screw in the back and using this pivot screw at the front, if you wanted to make your own scales, these would be remarkably good for that. And again, 
really comfortable, really slicey. Let's take a look at how much of that 14C you get. Let's see. Zero that out. Millimeters. All right, so back here at the thickest point, you're talking about a four millimeter slice of 14C that runs, because it's full tank construction, runs the length of the knife. But there's some other cool stuff too. Underneath the scales, it's chamfered, right? So it's not sharp around the edges, except right where you want it to be. Both of them are thoughtfully designed. Now, when I first saw these, I thought, man, the blades are enormous. That's, you know, maybe Adrian, maybe you've gone a little too far, but no, no, after using these in and around the house and around the kitchen and for some daily EDC tasks, he's really made wonderful knives or designed at least wonderful knives here. It's a good job, man. <laughs> really is excellent job. Uh, all right. The overall length on these is the same, but we will go ahead and keep them both on the table. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and three quarter inches overall. The handle thickness through the thickest point, they're relatively thin. You're looking at about 13 point, yeah, 13.16 millimeters, one, well, 13.17 millimeters, which is just a little over a half inch. We've already done this sort of size comparison, but I think really the best tool to use is one of his second generation yokais. Right? As you can see, these fixies are big. Um, they're not too big to carry. They're not too big to use as really good EDC tools. Uh, but they are a bigger knife. It's something to keep in mind. I have definitely enjoyed having these around. Stuff like this makes me happy. It just does. I really like when a designer says, okay, people seem to really enjoy, you know, my folders or this particular product. How can I bring more of it to market without just being repetitive? And so far, Adrian has been excellent at that. These fixed blades are an example of that excellence. They're just different enough by the way he sized the blades, and sort of reshaped the handles just a little bit to make them a unique tool. But if you like the design aesthetic of Adrian's stuff, and, and I do, then there really is something in here. Let's just do this. There really is just something in all sizes, right? And of course there's the, the little fidget size too, right? So, I think that's where we're going to wrap it up. It's not a long video. It's just a really straightforward video. But if you're looking for an interesting fixed blade that follows a known design aesthetic from a designer who really puts himself into the things he makes, then I think the new Yokai and uh, Basilisk Fixies from Damn Designs might be right up your alley. I know. They're definitely up mine. These things make me really happy. <laughs> anyway, and then that's where we're going to wrap it up. If you have any questions about the uh, damn designs, any of the damn design stuff you see on the table today, feel free to ask down in the comments. I would love to have you here on a regular basis, so don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.